I'd like to tell you about two failures and one success. Hi, I'm David Daniels from Chick Publications. Welcome to my neighborhood. I was actually raised here as a child and I used to trick-or-treat up and down these streets. One year I got something more than just candy. I looked inside my bag when I got home and I'd actually gotten a couple books and I kept them for years. Well, just a few weeks ago I found them and I got you pictures here. This is one of them. When I tried to read it, I thought it was some religious book written by some lady. I didn't even realize till a few weeks ago when I saw it in the used bookstore that it was Luke and Acts in the today's English version. Hey, I was just a kid. I didn't need watered down scriptures. What I really needed was adult Christian guidance. The other one I kept in my pocket for years because it was called, here's a blow up, The Little Bible. I thought, I have a Bible in my pocket. Well, not really. I had a scripture or two out of each of the 66 books of the Bible. And it wasn't the King James, but it wasn't even a complete book of the Bible, nor did it give me any directions. I needed something more than just a few scriptures. I needed adult Christian guidance. I was a kid. So there's the two failures. Now, my best friend Chad, you get to see this Chad, I used to go to his house. And at his house, he had not just Mad Magazines, but Chick Tracks. I used to read them there. I got so intrigued, I had to go across town and get them at the Christian Light Bookstore. Here's one of them. It's called Bewitched. When I looked at the cover, right here is a picture of a Ouija board with other occultic items. That told me there was something funny about the Ouija board. Now, I had a Ouija board and I used it. And I thought maybe there's something wrong with it. And then I read this track called The Thing. This is a very rare copy. I'm not giving you mine. It has a page in which it says, toward the end, Another thing, Maria, all charms, Ouija boards, and books of incantations must be destroyed, or you will be not possessed, but oppressed by them. I never realized it was supposed to be bad, but I knew I had to do something. So I took my Ouija board over to the sink, ran super hot water, and scraped off the paper and used it for my Mad Magazine stickers. I had that for years, but no longer did I have a Ouija board. Over the years, I continued to read Chick Tracks. And at that time, I had already become a Mormon, thinking I was a Christian because it said Jesus Christ on the sign. But years later, after Mormonism, after the occult, when God brought me back on August 24th, 1980, I already had a leg up on other people because I had these Chick Tracks. And in here I had the King James Bible, references to them, and adult Christian guidance. When you think about what to give out, think about the age of the kids. What do they have? Who can help them? The best bet for me is Chick Tracks, because they have God's Word, references to them, and adult Christian guidance. God bless you and have a wonderful day.